Hello everybody, we received several inquiries about extracting some not a common energy plus outputs, such as component and system sizes, either to be reported in the parametric simulation summary outputs file or to be specified as an optimization objective. Since G plus version 1.4, we are able to do this in two simple steps. First one is to add SQLite output object to the energy plus input file. And the second step is to extend the RVI file with the SQL query. And here is the format which has to be followed. SQL query has to be nested between SQLite line and end SQLite line following the convention. Output file name, which specifies the CSV file where the extracted data are stored, column headers and SQL command, all separated with semicolons. Let's see how this works in practice. Here are the outputs from a single energy plus simulation, just one scenario from the parametric project. And here is the associated SQL file. To explore the SQL file, I usually use Firefox SQLite Manager plugin. For the purpose of the example, I am going to extract Chiller nominal capacity. It is stored in component sizes table and the value I want to extract is 39138 point something. In the execute SQL tab, we can enter the SQL command and to get the Chiller capacity the command should be select value from table name is component sizes where comp type equal to chiller electric and comp name equal to central chiller and description equal to nominal capacity. By running a DSQL command, we can get the value. If everything works fine, we can copy the SQL command to the RVI file. SQL language is quite powerful. Commands can be much more complex than this one and multiple tables can be joined in order to extract the particular value. There are many online tutorials which can teach you how to use SQL. Let's move back to the RVI file. As mentioned earlier, output file name has to be specified. Let's say chiller cap. Column headers can be chiller nominal capacity units watts and paste the SQL command. Save the RVI file. We can now test it by executing the random sample of four jobs. Having finished simulations we can explore the outputs. In addition to the standard G plus outputs, there is a one more file, chillercap.csv, where the chiller nominal capacities are stored. Thank you for watching this video.